Assalamu alaikum dear friends. I am Engineer Sebul and you are watching Seven Engineer website YouTube channel. So guys, today I am going to share the four part of the question and answer for Seven Engineering job interview. So before starting the video, please subscribe our YouTube channel, like the video and comment your suggestion and feedback in the comment section and share the video with your friends. So let's start the video. The most important questions which the interviewer asked after introduction is what was your responsibilities in the previous project. So to answer this question properly, I am going to share an idea or a tip for the answer of this question. I will not explain it too much that will time take your time, but I will give a general idea that how you have to answer this question. If, when you are go, when you are applying for the position of a KVK senior site or any other position, you submit your CV to the recruiter and then they call you for the interview. So during the submitting your, your CV, you have written the responsibilities and the CV according uh, about your the previous project. So you have to answer all the points which you have written in the CV and the responsibilities for the previous project. If the responsibilities in the previous project in the CV is different from the answers, so it means he will think that you are lying to him and you don't have the experience in the previous projects. Because when you did something in the previous project, so it's in your mind and you have to tell them like that. So before submitting the CV or before attending the interview, so you have to study very well your CV and responsibilities about the previous projects. If you written 25 responsibilities, it doesn't mean that you have to tell them 25 one by one and with the sequence, no. No need about the sequence, no need about telling them. But the major work, the major work which you did in this, uh, the previous project, you have to tell them. For example, if you were making daily progress report, weekly progress report, WIR, MIR, ordering concrete, and checking uh, and do, uh, doing inspection whatever you did you have to tell them about the previous project but what you are telling them that should be present in your cv when you told them about the cv so it's there the maybe you tell them about wir mir daily progress report and inspection and complete order or site management so the first thing maybe they will ask what is wir so very simple work inspection request the second question they can ask about this that what are the important att attachment for the WIR? So very simple. Approved shop drawing you have to attach WIR, material approval request MIR, material inspection request, the approved material inspection request for the material which use in the activity for which you send the WIR. And sometime needed approved survey report. So you have to attach these important documents to WIR. If needed, approved survey report approved material inspection request and approved shop drawing the second the third thing in the document is mir maybe they will ask what is mir so material inspection request and if they ask what are the important attachments for the material inspection request so approved mar material approval request which you get approval from the consultant for that material and when you purchase that material you receive a delivery note with the material so you have to attach mar and approve and uh, delivery note with the MIR material inspection request and submit it to the consultant. Then the fourth in the, the important document is daily progress report, weekly progress report, monthly progress report. But first we have to uh, explain the daily pro what is the daily progress report and what you have to put in the daily progress report. The four important data which you have to put in daily progress report is site activity progress man for equipments used at site and material you receive at site these are the four important data which you have to put in your daily progress report Mater uh, the what which type of activity is going on at site so you have to know about its percentage uh, its progress and you have to put that progress daily at, in your progress report Second thing, manpower. The available manpower at site, you have to put this in the daily progress report. 
equipment the available equipment and machinery at site and for which type of activities you are using it you have to put this in the all the detail in the daily progress report and which type of material you received how much you ordered and what are remaining you have to put all these data in the daily progress report and for the material receiving you will get this data from the site store department after the daily progress report, you have to submit daily progress report to the your planning engineer on the basis of your daily progress report, he will continue the planning schedules and also he will prepare the weekly report and also the month report. Weekly report is different from the daily report. In weekly report, you have to mention the invoices, which uh, sorry, not the invoices, uh, WIR data, material inspection data, there is dashboard for the safety. Uh, safety reports and many more but this will be put by the planning engineer you have to just prepare the daily progress report after that there are some pre-inspections so if they ask you how you inspect any uh, work so the simple question that you have to check the work executed inside with the shop drawings that's enough material inspect how you will do the material inspection you have to check the material with delivery note and the approved vendor that's enough to make it very simple and how you will order complete this question and two uh, interviews the interviewer asked me this question how you will order complete so the interviewer knows that you can calculate how to order but there is a one point if you have if you need specifically five cubic meter concrete so you have to order six or seven cubic meter concrete but because when you pump the come to site before the concrete casting day are cleaning the pump with the concrete grout so you have to also mention that in the your order when you need five cubic meters so you have to order six cubic meter with concrete grout before starting concrete what we, you will check what you have to do what you will arrange so before starting concrete you have to coordinate with the third party laboratory for testing you have to uh, prepare a ticks, uh, check a testing point at site after this you have to check your team that all the masons are available and all the skilled labor for concrete pouring with the four men is available you have to check their ppes that the glasses long boards and their concrete dress and you have to check the vibrator there should be two vibrator available and oil or diesel in the vibrator should be there and you have to also keep the extra diesel inside if in case the, the, the there is deficiency of the oil so you have to use the extra oil diesel in the vibrator because vibration vibra using a vibrator is the most important for the quality of concrete it will help to place the concrete in a proper way and there should be also rod available if you need for the placement and also before starting the concrete you have to call the consultant coordinate the consultant engineer to come and witness the concrete costing if he give you the permission to start concreting without his uh, attendance so also you can go ahead so these were some common questions and some important questions about the interview question and answer for the seven engineers, site engineer and KVQC engineer. So please subscribe to the YouTube channel for more thoughts of the seven engineer KVQC site engineer job interview question and answer series. Thank you so much for watching and supporting us.